today we will see another approach to troubleshoot service registration issue in listener the basic concept is in 11g and older release team on background process was responsible for service register in listener in 12c and later versions there is separate background process for this that is lreg background process it is mandatory background process that should not be killed for any reason it will eventually terminate the instance. I will show you the impact of killing this background process. I have two partitions. The right one, I will open the alert log to show you the impact of killing this background process. I have Oracle 19C. So I must have the LREG background process. So here, here we can see that LREG background process is running. If I kill this background process, it will terminate my instance. As we can see, instance terminated abnormal. Why? Due to LREG. Okay. Now we need to start our instance. So do not ever try to kill this background process in your production systems. So today we will deep dive in service registration issue with listener by enabling trace on listener and we will see what actually Oracle do internally to register any service with the listener. Please note such issues are mostly occur if you use non default port that is apart from 15221 and which actually we uh, do in our real world uh, production systems we don't prefer 1521 port so from 11g to 19c there is one command to enable the trace and this command to disable the trace and in 19c this command will not work you will get this kind of error so here there is some change in command you need these two commands to enable trace and this single command to disable the trace so now since in my system i have 19c installed so i will use this method so first i will show you the content of my listener.ora Here you can see I have two listeners. One is running on 1522 and one is running on 1525. Now I am going to start my listeners. another listener parallelly I will show you the local listener parameter it is in blank okay now we will check the status of our listener nothing here nothing here also Oracle actually registers the service within 60 second and tries the next term after 60 second so we will just wait for 60 seconds no service registered yet nothing okay now we will enable trace enable done dumping trace data done manual 
registration attempt done disable trace done check for trace file check for the latest file this is the latest file now I will cat this file go to top here okay now search for the activities which LRE is doing and what error it is getting so at the start it caught ORA 604 so that is uh, it is the recursive SQL error this is not related after that these are also not related here you need to check the flags success flag is zero that means service is not registered successfully failed flag is one that means process is failed and what actually it is trying it is trying to register service running on port 1521 but I don't have any service uh, uh, registered on 1521 port. I don't have any entries for 1521 port in listener. And it is getting error 12541, that is no listener. So it, uh, yes, it will get this kind of error because I don't have any port of 1521 in listener or Tora. But why it is looking for this port? Why not those ports which I have mentioned in my listener or Tora? That is the 1522 and 1525. So this is the uh, accepted behavior of Oracle that if you are using non-default port apart from 1521 and if had and if you had not told Oracle about those ports, so Oracle will always try to start listener on 1521 and trying to register on this port only. So with this trace, we come to know that if we create a listener on 1521 port, our issue will be resolved. But this is not the uh, agenda of this video. But I will show you the scenario. As per trace, if it is looking for listener on 1521. If I if I create one listener on port 1521, in this case, LREG process should successfully able to register service. Sorry, as we start listener spelling is correct. I will just confirm once. Listener 19C2. Yeah, correct. Okay, now I will check the status. Wait for a few seconds. Within 60 seconds, it should register. Yeah. So now you see instance service has been registered in this listener which runs on 1521, that is the default port. But in our production environment, we are not using this port. So what will be the solution? And if now I enable the trace, we will see that we will not getting those error. Enable trace, dump, complete, just try to force register, disable trace and check for log. This is the current log. Cat this. Go 
go to top this is the old here no yes, this is also old yeah start here you can see success count is 1 failure count is 0 why because it was searching for listener on port 1521 it found the listener and here you can see there is no URI error it successfully started the listener but here also since I have three listeners here we should see the three listeners here but Oracle is not able to find those listeners on port 1522 and 1525 because Oracle not aware of it okay so we need to make aware about the sports by using local listener parameter so we need to update the local listener parameter with our non default ports so my host name then first port I will start from the default port the second non default port and the third I will update local listener parameter done now if I check the status listener 19c registered 19c1 also registered and the default one so all three listeners running on port 1521 1522 and 1525 is now able to register my DB services and if I enable the trace now I will see in trace that Oracle is now aware about my all the three ports disable trace notice the time we have done this on 1352 okay so we need to look in this time frame only in our trace file because the trace file will have older values also this is the trace now cat now go to time from 1350 or 52 start here here now you can see I have three entries listener 0 that is default it searched for port 1525 sorry it searched for 1525 listener 1 searched for 1522 and listener to the default port 1521 and there is no error here you see there is no error so by this way we can overcome this issue and by this way Oracle will dynamically register your service in your listener so hope this uh, deep dive approach uh, will help you to troubleshoot your listener related issues in your production systems so thank you very much.